Hi, let's take a look at the property of some electromagnetic waves. So say a particular electromagnetic wave that we're looking at has a frequency of 91.5 megahertz, which would correspond to 91.5 on the FM dial, and we're at a point in space where the amplitude of that oscillation has a magnitude of 500 newtons per coulomb for the electric component of that electromagnetic wave. So when we take a look at any waves, waves travel at a speed. And for light in a vacuum, it's the speed of light in a vacuum, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And for any wave, the speed of a wave is the frequency f times the wavelength lambda. So with light, if we know the frequency, we know the wavelength. And the wavelength is going to be equal to the speed of light divided by the frequency. So if I take 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and divide by 9.15 times 10 to the 7 per seconds, that gives me a total length for my wave of 3.28 meters. Now, the other piece we could look at is instead of thinking about frequency, we could think about period. Well, period and frequency are exact inverses of each other. So the period would be 1 over 9.15 times 10 to the 7 cycles per second. So the period would be 1.09 times 10 to the negative 8 seconds per cycle, which is just about 11 nanoseconds. Now the last piece, EM, it's electric and magnetic. So as there's an electrical oscillation, say going up and down, there'd be a magnetic oscillation going side to side. And the amplitude of the magnetic oscillation is linked to the amplitude of the electrical oscillation. Specifically, the magnetic field amplitude is the electric field amplitude divided by the speed of light. So if I take 500 newtons per coulomb and divide by 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, I get a magnetic field oscillation with an amplitude of 1.67 times 10 to the negative 6 Tesla. Thanks for watching.